Welcome to the spoken tutorial on inspection and comparison of Git. In this tutorial, we will learn about Git diff, Git show, Git blame, and Git help commands. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 14.04, Git 2.3.2, and GEDit text editor. You can use any editor of your choice. To follow this tutorial, you must have knowledge of running Linux commands on terminal. If not, for relevant Linux tutorials, please visit our website. Let us begin with git diff command. This command will show the changes of the current status of the files. Now, I will show you how it works. Press Ctrl Alt T to open the terminal. We will go into our Git repository, my web page, which we created earlier. Type cd space my web page and press enter. I will continue to use HTML files for demonstration. You may use any file type of your choice. First, I will create a HTML file, history.html and commit it for demonstration purpose. Type gedit space history.html space ampersand and press enter. I will copy and paste some code into this file from my writer document which I had saved earlier. Let us save and close the file. Recall that we have to commit our work whenever we add or remove any file. To add the file to the staging area, type git space add space history.html and press enter. To commit our work, type git space commit space hyphen m space within double quotes added history.html and press enter. Let's see the git log by typing git space log and press enter. Currently, we have two commits in our repository. Open the files mypage.html and history.html by typing gedit space mypage.html space history.html space ampersand. Here, mypage.html is the file which we created in the previous tutorial. Now press enter. Let us add and delete some lines in these files. Then save and close the files. In certain situations, we may not remember what changes we have made in our files. Let us check the git status by typing git space status and press enter. It simply shows the modified file names. But we cannot get any other details. We want to know the actual changes that have been made to these files. Let us see how to check it. Type git space diff and press enter. This command will compare the current state of the files with the latest commit. Here you will see the two versions of the file history.html. A slash history.html is the version of last commit. And it is represented by a minus sign. B slash history.html is the version of current state. And it is represented by a plus sign. So, here the red color line with the minus sign is the old version. And the green color line with the plus sign is the new version. Press down arrow key to see more. These are the lines which we added in the new version. Also, you can see the changes of the file mypage.html. Press down arrow key. Press Q key to exit. Here, the output is displayed in colors. If we cannot see the lines with colors, type git space config space hyphen hyphen global space color dot ui space true and press enter. If you don't want to see the colors, 
please use false instead of true in this command. Type git space diff and press enter. Now the output is displayed without colors. Next, I will show you how to see the changes in a particular file. Type git space diff space history.html and press enter. Here we can see the changes made in the file history.html only. Let us now add our files to the staging area. Type git space add space history.html space mypage.html and press enter. Let's check the git diff again by typing git space diff and press enter. This time we don't get any output because our files have been added to the staging area. In such a case, we can type git space diff space hyphen hyphen stage and press enter. Now we can see the same output just like the one we got in the git diff command. We can also use hyphen hyphen cached instead of hyphen hyphen staged to get the same result. How can we compare the current state with any previous commit? First, we will see the git log by typing git space log space hyphen hyphen one line and press enter. Now say I want to compare my current state with the initial commit. So type git space diff space then copy and paste the commit hash of the initial commit and press enter. Here we can see the difference. In this manner we can compare our current state with any previous commit in our repository. In this way using git diff command we can see all the changes in the modified files. It will help us to make sure what exactly we have changed before committing. Let us freeze our work at this point. To commit type git space commit space hyphen m space within double quotes added colors and press enter. Next let us learn how to see the difference between two commits. Let's check the git log by typing git space log space hyphen hyphen one line and press enter. Type git space diff space then copy and paste the commit hash of initial commit space now copy and paste the commit hash of added colors and press enter. The difference between the two given commits can now be seen. Next we will compare the last revision with the second last revision. Type git space diff space head space head tilde and press enter. Head indicates the last revision which has the commit message added colors. Head tilde indicates the second last revision which has the commit message added history.html. The latest revision is always head. The latest minus one revision is always head tilde. Likewise, latest minus two is head tilde two. Latest minus three is head tilde three and so on. Switch back to the terminal. Let us now learn about git show command which helps to see the entire details of a commit. Type git space show and press enter. This command will show the details of latest commit in the repository. It shows what changes have been made to the files along with the commit details. This feature is helpful when we work collaboratively. Now. Let's see the git log by typing git space log space hyphen hyphen one line and press enter. To see the details of the initial commit, type git space show space then copy and paste the commit hash of the initial commit and press enter. Here you can see the details of the initial commit. In this manner we can see the details of any commit of our repository. Next, let us learn how to see the entire history of a file. 
to see the entire history of mypage.html, type git space blame space mypage.html and press enter. Here we can see the entire history of the file mypage.html that is from creation point up to current stage. Likewise, you can see the full details of any file in your repository. Lastly, we will see how to get help from Git. The syntax to get help is as follows. Git help verb or git verb hyphen hyphen help or man git verb. For example, git help show. Let me demonstrate this. Switch back to the terminal and type git space help space show and press enter. Here we can see the manual of show command. With this we come to end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial we have learnt about git diff, git show, git blame and git help commands. As an assignment Explore the following commands git ref log, git diff head tilde head, git show head, and man git diff. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates to those who pass online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the following link. This is Priya from IIT Bombay. Thanks for joining.